I taught at East, Intermediate East. I taught sixth grade there for 12 years. I taught math and science. Um, so with that, kind of getting into the STEM initiatives. And then from there, decided to jump over to middle school. I taught seventh grade math and pre-algebra over here. And then this was a new class that opened up and I enjoyed teaching science when I was at East. And when I started college, I actually started off in mechanical engineering before I switched to uh, education. So with the robotics kind of let me do kind of both worlds in an education setting, some of the engineering things. So I thought it would be really fun and really enjoying it. So I jumped over here to start this. My favorite thing about the role is just having fun. It's like it's being able to show up with the math. Sometimes students come in stressed about it before they even realize that they can do something or not be able to do something and they can learn it. But with this, it's just fun. They can be creative with it, being able to have conversations with it. Just a lot more flexibility in what the kids are able to do and them getting to work together is what I enjoy. We have a lot of our Encore classes. There's the robotics course, there's an engineering, there's the flight and space, medical detectives, computer applications, computer science. Um, so we have several different courses that they can take. Um, we have a robotics club after school that um, students can be part of. Uh, next year, we're looking to get into some of the competitions and actually having a team involved. That'll be another opportunity for them as well. They're willing to try. Like they don't let the fear of failure stop them being able to work with um, each other, coming up with those ideas, working together, um, not trying to get frustrated. It's always natural to want to get frustrated when something doesn't work, but being persistent with it, having a positive attitude, working with the others, and being creative with it. A lot of the systems that we use, just the process of putting the pieces together for my class specifically with robotics, um, but the coding and everything, the language is just the same, the coding is the same. But a lot of those foundational pieces are the same here as what they will do as they go on to high school and even into certain careers at some point, depending on what they choose to do. The elementaries have the STEM classes, which are kind of naturally just going through your schedules that they get some of that. And they may have some clubs after school or maybe have their own robotics clubs that they could do or coding clubs. I know the intermediates have some of those times as well. In the summer, there's camps. We have one here in Avon called Camp Invention. There's a camp that our high school teachers actually do that they get to do 3D printing and they get to do robotics, as well as a lot of it is just happening naturally in their classes just with the way we're approaching the education now.